so I have a few things here that I got for my birthday that I just wanted to share with you. Um, so I got this in the mail the other day, well, a few days, I don't know, a week ago, whatever, um, from Sephora for a free birthday gift. So, of course, I wanted to take advantage of that. Why not, right? So, I chose this duo of the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream and the Coco Cabana Cream. Um, I had never tried the Coco Cabana, Coco, Coco Banana? Coco Cabana Cream before, but I have tried, or, well, yeah, tried and smelled the Co the Bum Bum Cream. Oh, it smells like heaven. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. One of these, I'm sure, will end up in my purse. Oh, oh my god. They, what is this, what does this have in it? It smells so good. I read the ingredients, I'm sure, but it's like there's too much in there. Okay, so that was my free birthday gift from Sephora. I also decided to pick up this ABH Norvina Collection Mini Pro Pigment Palette Volume 1. Um, I don't own anything by ABH. If I do, it came in a boxy charm, but it wasn't memorable, so I don't think I own anything by them. Um, this is so cute. Trying to open it the wrong way. Oh, I love these colors so freaking much. I'm obsessed with like the purpley, pinky shades. This shade in the middle is so gorgeous. I don't know if you guys can see that like sparkle, but oh, it's it's just so pretty. And it does have like a nice mirror on it. That'll be fun to play with. All right. And then I decided to get this Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I got the mini size. Um, this was also clearanced out like that ABH palette. Um, I've never tried this before. And of course, <laughs> I just watched a Laura Lee video. I just like started watching her. Um, I never cared to watch her before, but now I'm watching her. I just, I kind of love um, how she's like taking care of her niece now and everything. Um, she just, I don't know. She, I love that about her so I just kind of got into her and her niece seemed really cool she's like 15 years younger than me but I mean she seems like a cool girl um and uh she just did a video of makeup people hated and you know she tried it all on her face and of course this was the product for primer that people hated but she ended up liking it with her hydrating primer so hopefully I like it with my hydrating primer um I did test it out on the back of my hand because I did film this video once before. I just didn't like how it turned out. Um, and it is very sticky and tacky, so hopefully it holds my foundation well. Sorry, I feel like my lips are so dry right now. Like, in the worst way. I need to moisturize them so bad. Um, this was like a little free gift from Sephora. It is a Skin Fix Barrier Foaming Oil Cleanser which sounds really nice. So I can't wait to give that a try. You get one fluid ounce. It is vegan and cruelty-free. Um, okay, and then from Ulta, I got this little Daydream palette by Ulta Beauty. Um, and it is so cute. I love the color of it. And this is what the colors look like. Definitely up my alley. These are all, all my kind of shades right here. Um, and this is like the perfect little palette to keep in your purse if you keep like a little makeup per makeup pouch in there, um, which I do sometimes. And instead of just keeping like one or two single eyeshadows, you could keep this and get several different looks if you're on the go or whatever. And like this is perfect. So I'm glad to have that. I like the size of it. I also got this Makeup Revolution Good Vibes Only Lip Balm in the shade Euphoria and it's just like this pretty pinky toned color and it is like a lip balm so it doesn't have much of a color it's not a lip stain or anything but if you can see like that hint of pink it'll give your lips a little bit of color again I, I did try this on in the last video but uh, my lips are so dry I did not like how this felt over them so I'm gonna wait till my lips are moisturized to really give this a full go then I got this Makeup Revolution and Tammy. I don't know who Tammy is, but um, hi Tammy. 
It is the Tropical Carnival Shadow Palette, and this just called my name. Um, I like bright, bold colors, but I also like more muted, pinky, rosy toned colors. Um, but like, this is so cool. I love the like explosion of color behind her name. Um, I just, and I love Makeup Revolution, so I just, I don't know, something about this, and I love the size of the colors. Like, they're not itty-bitty. I got the Mermaid palette from them years ago, and the shades were round and super tiny, and I just don't like that. I wish they were, like, square and big like this. I probably would have hung on to that palette. I just, it looked more too, like, little kid makeup-ish to me, even though it was Makeup Revolution. I'm so weird about, like, how shadows are laid out. Uh, but this, I love the size of the pans, the colors. It gives me like the mermaid palette vibes, but it has a little more like red and orange in here than that palette did. Um, I really like these. I cannot wait to try these out. And did you guys see that mirror on here? You get a nice mirror with Makeup Revolution palettes. Um, the last thing in here is just something I got off of Etsy. Um, you guys probably won't care about it at all unless you play Animal Crossing. Um, they're just this, it's a three pack of Amiibo cards, um, because I got them because I really just wanted this character, which is Molly. She's like the cutest, sweetest, most innocent, pure little duck you've ever seen. And I just got her to move to my island today. I just got these in the mail today. So I'm so excited I have Molly on my island now. This also came with Marshall, who is a squirrel, who's apparently also very popular, but I don't really know that. I don't hear many people talk about him, but apparently people do. My best friend told me. She's like, where have you been? I'm like, I don't know. And then Bob, who is a cat, who's also apparently really popular, but again, I don't know this. I know Molly's popular. A lot of people talk about Molly. Um, a lot of people talk about a lot of characters, but I've never really heard people talk much about Bob or Marshall. Marshall more so than Bob. I've never heard anyone mention Bob before. But this little three-pack was $10, which I didn't think was bad since you get three Amiibo cards. But I kind of wish you could make your own set. Like, I would have gotten, like, Molly and, like, two others that, like, I would personally want uh, other than Marshall and Bob. But hey. Maybe I'll give Marshall and Bob a ring and have them come to my island and I'll meet them and see how I like them. Um, so yeah, um, it is 11.32 p.m. I am going to go try to go to bed soon. Um, I am going to take, uh, I wanted to share with you guys. I got these probiotics off of Amazon. They're Physician's Choice Once Daily Probiotic. Um, women's probiotic with prebiotic fiber blend made with D. Man Manois. Manos. Uh, professional grade natural ingredients and they're like delayed release veggie capsules I don't know uh, you get 30 of them so you get like a month's worth I hope I like them um, if not I'll probably just ask my mom what she uses because I'm trying to like stick this where my son won't see it and like open them which is why I keep forgetting to take these I've got these days ago and I'm not keeping them up there where my son can easily like get to the container of it um but anyway um i'm gonna take my probiotic my mom is always telling me i need to take some sort of vitamin or probiotic or something it'll help your system it'll help you be a little healthier um so i'm gonna try it um but again if i don't like these or you know maybe hers are cheaper or something i don't know i'll go with hers after i try these but these were like not clearanced out but like priced down on amazon so it was like way less than the original price of like 20 something dollars so I, maybe they were like half off or something which is why i decided to try these um because my mom probably only pays like ten dollars for a big bottle of hers so again i wanted to try these but i might just go with something she gets if i like these i'll get these again as long as they're on sale because i don't like paying 20 something dollars for vitamins because that's just stupid to me i'm gonna go get my soda out of the freezer take my medicine vitamin whatever you want to call it and hopefully go to bed soon because I don't want to be up late I say that every night and then I'm always up late um but yeah I can't wait to just lay in front of the fan because I am burning up like I feel like I'm going on 60 instead of 30 because I, I get hot flashes 
so much. I'm always just so hot and I don't know why. I'll be laying in front of the fan and I'll be hot and I don't know why. It's really frustrating. My mom's like, you need to get your thyroid checked. Probably, but I've been like this for as long as I can remember. So if something's wrong with my thyroid, then something has been wrong with me for a really long time. Um, but I mean, I remember like as a child, my grandma was always, always really, really hot. Um, I know I got it from her and even my grandpa who passed away a couple of years ago, he was always hot. Um, my mom's side of the family like is usually always like really cold. My sister's always cold. My mom's always cold. My grandma's always cold. My dad's side of the family, well, my grandpa on this side of the family was more like me and hot. But my dad's side of the family, like my grandma was always hot. You know what I mean? Like, so I feel like I'm more like that side of the family because I'm just always burning up for no reason. Everybody else is always like, oh my god, I'm so cold. I'm like, it's 80,000 degrees. What is wrong with you? So... I just want to go get in front of the fan and try to cool down. I, I wish it were snowing outside instead of, like, going to be 85 degrees tomorrow because I'd love to just lay in the snow and cool down, but I can't. My son wants to swim in the little pool tomorrow because I told him, I mean, why not? He's four. It's going to be hot. He may as well enjoy himself in the heat since I'm going to be sitting out there dying. He's going to at least be enjoying the cool water and all of that. I'm going to make sure to put enough sunscreen on him so he doesn't burn. He's got that fair Irish skin. Um, I'm going to try and keep a shirt on him, but his swim shirt that I had for him is too small now. Um, so hopefully the swim trunks I have for him still fit him. Otherwise, he's going to have to wear his regular shorts and a shirt, but I'm, I'm going to keep a shirt on him because he's just too fair, and if the sun's out at all, he will burn, and I refuse to let him get, you know, if he gets, like, a teeny tiny t bit of red, like, where he doesn't feel sunburnt, like, I get that, but I just, I'd feel way too horrible if he actually got sunburnt. I remember getting sunburnt as a child a lot. It was, like, I always got burnt at first, and then I would start just, like, tanning rather than burning, but he is way more fair than I ever was, and I've always been pretty fair. I'm pretty fair now. I mean, I am ghostly white. My fiance works out in the heat all day, every day. He looks so much tanner than I am. Like, there's a world of difference there. Um, I'm jealous, but at the same time, I don't mind being pale anymore. I used to work at a tanning bed, so I used to get free tans. I know people don't talk about that anymore. That's so, like, people do the fake tan, and I get that. I don't know, man. I was kind of wanting to try that, but rubbing something all over you and then worrying about getting it, like, stained on your clothes and then having to wash it off. And that just sounds like a lot of work just to be fake tan. I'd rather just sit out in the sun and get a real tan, in my opinion. I'm not downing anybody who does, like, the self-tanner at all. I just, it just seems like too much work for me to put into all of that. So, with that being said... I'm gonna go, maybe I'll get some color tomorrow. Who knows? Maybe I'll get burned. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Because I don't typically wear sunscreen. Oh, I know. Come for me. I just, I just don't. I'm never out in the sun enough to need sunscreen. Even when I'm out playing with my kid, we're outside for a tiny bit at a time. We come in, we'll go back out. You know, we're not out there for five hours where I need sunscreen, you know. Um, I don't know. I'm more worried about him than I am me. I know, come for me. I, I need sunscreen all over my face. I'm not going to put sunscreen all over my face. I'm not going to put sunscreen on at all. So, take that. Um, Alright guys, I'm going to go. I'm tired. I'm hot. I'm delusional, I think. So, I'm going to go get my Dr. Pepper and enjoy some peace and quiet and go to sleep. I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.